1 Samuel 17, verse 37. David said, moreover, The Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said unto David, Go, and the Lord be with thee. David said, God delivered me from the lion. God delivered me from the bear. And God will deliver me from this Gentile. Interesting perspective. Because even though we often say, well, the God who did it before will do it again. And because God delivered me before, I can trust him that he will deliver me again. Unfortunately, many times when we face our trials and our testings, we do not even get to that point. Think about it. How many of us would have been complaining that we're tired of fighting now? First it was a lion, then bear, now Philistine. Why is it that I have to fight so much? Why is it that I have to struggle so much? Why can't I have life easy like other people? Look at how they have it easy. Everything I have, I have to fight for. Yeah, you know what it is like. So very often we complain. We are tired of the fight and tired of the struggles. And if we were in David's position, when we showed up and we heard the Philistine come out and begin to, you know, make his threats and put out that invitation to battle, we would have said, well, I came here to bring food for my brothers. Here's the food. I'm going back to my sheep. I've had enough fight. We certainly would not have been going and saying, let me get into this fight. I've had enough fights under my belt. Most of us, that would not be our approach. But let's stop and think about it again. Because there is a cause to the fights you've had. There is a cause for the struggles you've been through. And so when his brother tried to dissuade him, David said, is there not a cause? There is a cause for your fights. There is a cause for the multiple cases of struggles and challenges and hardships. It may be preparation, preparation for ministry. It may be that which is required to be your stimulus for growth. It could be preparing you for your blessings. It could be ensuring that you get anointed. Whatever it is, there is a cause. If you have repeated struggles and fights and challenges, do not get perturbed and discouraged because you've had these. Recognize there's a cause for them. There's a purpose in your life. There's a purpose for your life. And if God took you through them before, he can take you through this one now. God bless you. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And for more, join us at 9 a.m. at 10 Union Square, Crossroads, Kingston, Jamaica. If you can't be there in person, join us virtually via YouTube Live.